Good evening, this is Vu. We're going to talk about getting a custom white balance with the GX85. In my first set of video, we discussed using a flash white balance preset. That's good enough for most of us, but if you want the a little bit more accurate color, well, significantly more accurate color, we use this white bal to count, counterbalance the color shift that happens when the flash shines through this acrylic sheet. So let's go ahead and get started. The Y bal is a $20 white balance card that you can pick up from photography stores. There are a lot of great targets online. This is my favorite for accuracy. The um, Color Checker Pro is another one that's really good, but uh, this is 20 bucks and the Color Checker is a lot more than that. Let's start by taking our GX85. Uh, I'm going to turn it to the C mode up here. Uh, you can see that hopefully. And then what we're going to do is hit the right button. I'm going to go ahead and block my screen up so the buttons will light up a little more. We're going to hit this right WB button here on the right arrow. And that's going to uh, give us a choice of white balances. We had it on the flash white balance preset. We're going to set it to uh, custom white balance setting number one. And then we're going to hit the up arrow. Okay. And you notice up there refers to select white set. Hit the up arrow. And now it's going to go ahead and give, ask us for a picture. We're going to go ahead and set this white balance card on our little model here. He's going to hold it up at a nice level for me. Thank you. And now I'm going to go ahead and aim the camera at the white balance card. Let's see if I can do this cross-handed. There we go. All right. Aim it and then fire. Okay. You need to get the white balance card completely in the shot. And once you do that, um, it will be completely set. You can verify this by shooting the card one shooting a picture of the card one more time uh, to see if it's to see if you got a level shot. And it looks like it's neutral in my image. Now keep in mind that the more custom your white balance is set, the more off it will look uh, in your viewfinder before you take a shot. Because chances are uh, your flash is firing at about 5,000 Kelvin of whiteness, uh, color temperature, and your house lighting is, in my house, around 2,700 K, and in your office it might be 2,700, 20, 3,000, or 3,500 in mine. And so when you, one of the consequences of setting this custom white balance is you may see even more discrepancy in the live view. Don't worry about that. It's the actual image capture that matters. So we've set our custom white balance. We're going to go ahead now and save that setting so that every time we go into our custom menu, uh, it'll be our custom preset will be saved. So we're going to hit the menu key. That's the middle button of this pad here. Or I'm sorry. It's the, uh, yeah, that's that button. Okay. So we hit the menu button there. And we're going to go ahead and move our cursor to the to the left. Go down to the custom C, the um, C monkey wrench menu. One arrow to the right. And then we're going to pick custom set memory. Pick C1. And then it will say, do you want to overwrite the current camera settings with custom set 1? The answer is yes. Hit completed. And that's it. We've now set a custom uh, we've now overridden our custom set memory so that every time we go from the automatic set, the IA setting that we use for our headshots and our extra oral to our C mode for our dental, we'll have a custom white balance setting. And uh, there it is. You'll see right there. You'll see there that one there instead of the WP flash that you had before. Now that every time we shoot, we'll get even more accurate color. I'm Vu, and I hope this helps. Take care.